Can I ask you a question before we start? Yeah. Isn't it pretty insane talking about this just to two persons in your whole life? I don't think there's any rights or wrongs. Some people will never have the conversation. How are you feeling, Dennis? A little nervous, to be honest, but it's good. It's okay, we're getting gently, I think. Right. Uh, no need to be nervous, it's just a chat. Let's start from the beginning. Sein Charakter ist mehr Snowboarder-Typ irgendwie. Style, Flow. Immer motiviert, kann nie aufhören. Buttermania, Tweaks. Oh, you want to know something about my boy D-Ran? He skis with power and precision, which combines to make such an amazing style. Er hat sich einfach ständig entwickelt. Ein ruhiger Typ, der aber, wenn er will, was man sehr wild sein kann. Then it is progression. I guess been eating away. Probably like the first ski memory I have, I guess. I can really remember this, like going down the mountain, seeing my mom on the right side. This was so so very interesting, because I was so scared that I didn't get the first place. Yeah, my mom is a great person. Without her, I think nothing really would work out. She like supported me all the way through. Ins geliebt, da groß zu werden, muss ich sagen. Ja, sehr naturverbunden wird man auf jeden Fall groß. Und ja, ich glaube, das gibt dann ganz viel mit, wenn man so aufwachsen darf, wie wir es eigentlich haben. We are like friends, grew up together, snowblading and skiing and bigfooting and going through the woods and doing our thing 20 years later. It's like so deep inside still. 
really good childhood growing up there. Ich würde sagen, es ist ein höher gelegenes, enges, schönes Tal. Enges Tal oft mit ja, Menschen, die sehr begrenzte Ansichten haben. When did you first know you were black? Probably at school, around 10 to 13. I mean, I for sure recognized before that I'm black, but that was the first time where I recognized it's like it can be a problem for people that I'm black. Do you think you fit the mold of the typical Austrian? No, absolutely not. People are very surprised seeing me on the ski lift. I had the best day like in my memories now going skiing with my friends, but like on the same day we went into the restaurant and 50 people looked at me. On the same day maybe the lift guy was giving me a stupid comment. It's like happening on the same day, same time maybe like five minutes later. In the beginning, you're not really recognize it. And then you get into the age where it's like starting to hurt. Kind of need to learn in a young age to deal with problems in a different way than just being mad about it. I always try to put it into motivation. If somebody said something stupid to me, that meant to me then, okay, I'm gonna ski harder tomorrow. feeling like makes me feel really really good and makes me happy it's like pretty crazy not having this feeling for being who I am like going out to the world like with this confidence you know deswegen ist es für mich so hart weil ich das einfach niemals nachvollziehen kann wie er sich gefühlt hat in dem Moment weil wir das natürlich nicht erfahren haben müssen, oder leiden haben müssen eigentlich das, was der Dennis eigentlich vielleicht tagtäglich mitgemacht hat. Back in the days I wasn't proud to be half African. It hurts to say that, but I was feeling ashamed and absolutely not proud that my dad is from Africa. was the first time I was like opening up about it a little bit. The first time for years that I was like crying about this. For me it's like it's really hard to open up. And when I open up then I always think I shouldn't have done it. Racism is a system. Racism is an ideology that places black people beneath white people. It's not something that is just natural and normal. Racism is something that is learned. We learn it through our families, through school, through media. It's a system that we learn, and oftentimes we can't escape it. So, wie sind die Leute? Wie wächst man dort auf? Das macht sich auf jeden Fall bemerkbar. Vielleicht, wenn man jünger ist, realisiert man das nicht so. Aber wenn man älter werden, finde ich, merkt man jetzt auf alle Fälle, dass es einen Alltagsrassismus gibt. Ich glaube, das ist so vielen Leuten nicht klar. Die denken dann immer, es geht um eine ganz arge Beschimpfung oder so. Oder einen Angriff so physisch. Ich glaube, das sagen die anderen nicht, weil die einfach das Gefühl nicht noch nie so gehabt haben. Wie sieht der österreichische Großteil schwarze Menschen in Österreich? 
entweder sie sehen sie gar nicht und das ist irgendwie nicht existent, oder man hat eben ein problematisches Bild. Du siehst eben Krieg, Hunger, irgendwelche Kriminalität. Und das ist schon oft noch spürbar, dass man merkt, dass bei sehr vielen Personen das drinnen ist und dann wird es aber auch weitergegeben ständig und dann hört es nicht mehr auf und dann hat man die Darstellung immer wieder. Und das ist auch das, was wir in den Bildern sehen, die wir von schwarzen Menschen sehen. Wir sehen kaum ähm, wirklich die Dinge, die auch was Positives sind. Ich finde es auch einfach spannend, wenn man sieht, wie viele Dinge jetzt immer sichtbarer werden. Deswegen finde ich es auch spannend, wenn so Galerien plötzlich Kunst von schwarzen Menschen ausstellt, Kunst von Afrikanerinnen ausstellt und man merkt so, hey, Leute sehen jetzt auch in ihrem Day-to-Day-Life die ganzen Achievements, die schwarze Menschen haben. Representation of blackness and black people is essential. And it's very important to see people that look like you in different places and different spaces because it gives you power. It gives you power to imagine yourself somewhere. You fight hard for who you are. You fight hard for your identity to be seen. You get into a place when you feel like you need to prove something out of your skin color, because being you is not enough. You need to prove you're like kind of better than your skin color is, or you need to prove people. I also can go ski. No, I've never been to Africa and I don't know too many things about the country where my dad grew up, like about Ghana, and I really have no idea or feeling how it is there. I always had this question in me, but I was never committed enough to do it. Maybe I was overthinking a little bit too much. It just felt like it is the right moment to do this. Discovering where your ancestors are from can be difficult. It can be something that you really have to put your mind into, and it can be scary.
my grandmother. Is she good? Yes. Um, let's start then. What were your expectations coming here? Did you have any? Mm. What kind of emotions does that conjure up in your head? Very different to everything I ever did in my whole life, right? A warm feeling, a really warm feeling, but also a little bit of a scary feeling, to be honest, you know? I was less nervous when I was sitting next to her than when I was in a different place. She gave me a good feeling. Um, did you feel did you feel connected to her? It felt like she's looking after me, you know, so when I'm next to her I don't have to be scared because there's no reason then to be scared kinda. I come back to you and say you've done well. Family continues. Family doesn't end. For me, seeing you after a long while was something great for me as well. It's definitely a feeling I didn't have for a really long time. And That's great, yeah. I think my brain my, and my heart didn't even realize that at this moment what is like happening right now, That's you know what I mean? Great. Definitely a, a good great, feeling. Great, yeah. I'll go back and say there's nothing missing, nothing broken, okay? Um, we can uh, patch up all the loopholes, okay, to, to move ahead, right? So, um, you, you have to uh, be strong, you know? Come. And make sure that uh, you have to know you are not on your own, you know? Earlier in my life, I wouldn't be ready to do this, okay. like in that way, because I feel like I had to find my way for myself oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and <clears throat> find me in some way. A couple years ago, I wouldn't really understand the whole thing. I think I'm there right now where I want to be and I have like a clear mind and you know what I mean? So I really can get into this and soak it up. When I'm at home, I think about being black. Here I never thought about it. I thought about it a bunch. My skin color was always a part of my life, still is every day. It doesn't hurt me as much as it did 10 years ago, but it's still there. The Slave Castle, did it have an impact on you? 
a lot of impact. A very important part of the history and even more important for me. More than 500 years of slavery and colonization. So today I will tell you a lot about the suffering of the barbarism our ancestors endured in these castles. The dungeons were transit quarters or waiting places for the captives. And they stayed in there for several months over three months in the dungeons before the ships arrived. Ghana was the major transit point. Over 50% of the Africans who ended up in the New World went through Ghana. We had to eat, we had to sleep, we had to do everything here. There's people all around you. It's a good thing we made it to the motherland to understand what happened. This has to be shown and told because I don't think there are a lot of people who can imagine what really happened, you know what I mean? There's another place I want you to see. The condemned cell was a death chamber I'm going to take you inside the doors so you can have a feel of what our ancestors felt in there without water, food, light, and earth. They pushed them here in chains and in shackles. They denied them of water, food. They gave them the slow and painful form of death. And it's not even dark, dark. It's just standing in here and knowing what happened in here. I feel like I can't really breathe. So there is this thing of air. We can only see me and souls rest in peace. So this is human history. This should unite us as human beings. This should bring that feeling of we treating each other better. Thank you. So I welcome you home to learn about your culture and your heritage. Everywhere I've been, it gave me the feeling of coming home meeting all those people, my dad, my grandmother. I can be proud to be a man of color. It was a process. The most meaningful thing I did for a long, long time. So I welcome you home as a brother. Before I was Austrian, now I'm half Austrian, half Ghanaian, and so that's pretty cool. I kind of felt like I know where I'm going. Crazy feeling, I never had this before. Yeah. And if I would not experience this myself, I would probably not believe that this is existing, you know? And how do you feel after? Did things connect a bit more? Proud, being proud, being getting home and being proud to be African. We're making a mental leap. The skiing, you know, and the passion and the drive around skiing says to me is the distraction mm -hmm. that you can put your energies into something or it's like a, a certain kind of feeling 
that first breath of air you get when you get out there, it's like so, I don't know, then everything falls. I was like, I want to become like a professional skier. There's nothing else. It's like freedom, therapy. I need to smile when I think about skiing. It's like, I love this. Take off perception, take off the cop with the iPad Take off the allure, take off the unsure, take off the decisions I like Take off the fake deep, take off the fake woke, take off the I'm broke, I care Get it off. Take off the gossip, take off the new logic, that if I'm rich, I'm real Get it off. Take off the should know, take off the doje, take off the broken bag Get it off. Take all that designer bullshit off and what do you have? Bitch, huh. Ugh. you ugly as fuck You out of pocket huh. Two ATMs, you step in the what? You out of pocket Who you think they talk about, talk about us? You Who you think they cut me up, cut me up, us? Get back in pocket, the 
world in a panic, the women is stranded, the men on the run The profits abandoned, the law take advantage, the market is crashing, the industry wants Niggas and bitches to sleep in the box while they making a mockery following us This ain't monopoly, watch it for luck, this ain't monogamy, y'all getting fucked Jumping on what the hell is that, I gotta relax when I feel All my descendants, they come in my sleep and say I am too real I'm done with the sensitive, taking it personal, done with the black and the white, the wrong and the right You hoping for change in clericals, I know the feelings that came with burial cries Bitch! Fuck. You out of pocket huh. Two ATMs, you step in the what? You out of pocket Who you think they talk about? Talk about us You Shoo. out of pocket Shoo. Who you Shoo. think they carry up, carry up us? Serving up a look, dancing in a job I feel like if you're really young and you see somebody looking like you doing something makes you feel you can do it as well, right? They say we're urban city folk, that we're not interested in nature, forest, the rivers or the fields. Why should we listen? We're hungry for exploration and capable. Capable to enjoy the world and all that it offers in the way that we choose. So let us ride, climb, swim and jump. Fall and get cold, hurt and break. Let us laugh and learn and win if we choose. To find a freedom the likes of which you'd never know. Having the answer is easier than thinking about it. And don't hide yourself for not fitting in or being different. Different is great. So, but like now I'm not like Diran only as a skier and I'm Diran like as a complete person. Before I fought it and now it happened, you know what I mean? I think that was like probably the, the key into the luck that was needed to get there. <laughs> 